Hey guys, it's Digonto here on Endala Avar and I have an announcement to make. You see, it's been some months since I've been making some render tutorials and was thinking about the future of this channel. Suddenly, my friend Wadud gave me a hand and said that he'll be giving the design tutorials. Isn't that great? Not only some random tutorials, he'll be giving you the guidelines through CSW8 to CSWP and all the CSWP advanced certifications. Did I mention that Wadud has all the certificates and just one step far from the CSWE exam? Yes. Not only that, he's been selected for the first time in Bangladesh as the student leadership. And we are proud of you, bro. Let's hear from him. Assalamu alaikum, everyone. I am Wadud Hassan Akash, SolidWorks student leader from Bangladesh. I am certified SolidWorks associate in both mechanical design and additive manufacturing and also certified SOLIDWORKS professional in mechanical design. So I am going to take CSWP exam preparation course. The, you know, all know the CSWP exam is meant to challenge advanced SOLIDWORKS to prove their capabilities of creating and modifying advanced model. So we know that the exam is separated into three segments. Segment one is part modeling, segment 2 is part configuration and segment 3 is assembly but i would recommend to take the exam full not separately because the passing mark will be affected on the total marks and you don't have to pass all the segment so what is the cswp prerequisites and exam preparation so one you should be comfortable using the software and navigating the interface why? So if the user is not familiar with the interface, then in the main exam, it will be waste of time and the user cannot complete his exam fully. Second, user should have a thorough, thorough understanding of modeling tools, like user should know how to design a part more accurately and fast. There is many ways you can design a part, but you should know the best way to finish your part design and also make sure the computer solidworks software and microsoft excel are functioning properly here i created a part by using lock feature now i want to cut through it with some thickness so how can i do that you can see that i used two features to do that one is cut lock and second is shell features so if I unsuppress that cut loft you can see that I used two sketch profile to create this cut if I edit this feature you can see I selected both of profile close profile to cut the part you can see the section view that the thickness of this part is uniform from top to bottom now if i suppress that and unsuppress the shell feature you can see that the shell feature does not require any sketch and it gives me the same result if i go into the section view you can see that the part has the uniform thickness from top to bottom so for the shell feature you see i have to just select the two faces and enter the value of the thickness so why should i tell this here i want to explain you that in the main exam user should know the best way to finish his part so that he can save his time in his exam so here is the exam topics the exam topics will be sketch entities extruded pause and extruded cuts pattern whole wizard global variable equation and design intent multi bodies assembly and hybrid assembly modeling replace components and design these topics 
we will see in our future videos so here we are in the SOLIDWORKS certification program so here you will get the all information about certified SOLIDWORKS professional and here you will get sample exam PDF you can download it through this link and by downloading it you will get all of the information about the exam if I scroll down you will see you will get the exam syllabus that there is a many things but I don't think all of these things will require in CSWP exam and here if I scroll down a little more you will find how to take the exam in tangent Tester Pro client and and then you will get the test question you can take the exam manually and test your capabilities and you will find the answers at the very bottom of the PDF so assalamu alaikum and take greetings from us so guys i hope that you subscribe to the channel and join us in our journey and until next time stay connected see you soon bye